Okay, so let's talk about how to use this two-pass algorithm to help us do the sorting, especially focus on the merge sort of a relation. Let's assume we have a relation R. Inside this relation, we have lots of data and tuples inside it in the table, right? And the target we are starting here is to do a merge sort of all the data inside this relation to sort all the data according to some attributes, of course. Here we propose to use a merge sort instead to help us do the sorting of the relation data. And we will use this two parts algorithm in state, which will be called the two parts multi way merge sorts. Uh, according to the algorithm, this method we have two steps, right, or two parts. So for step one, first of all, we need to read the data in the relation, right? So we need to, so we can know what are the data available inside the relation. And also we need to do some basic operations for the reading data, right? So we can prepare for the merge of the data, right? And, and we can also sort them into some orders. As you in this page for step one, first of all, we need to read the data from the relation. According to the size of the memory, right? Let's assume the memory size size of m. In other words, we can read the m blocks from the uh, table into the memory at one time, and we can also sort for each of the blocks and write this result into the memory in state. So in other words, we have read m blocks into the memory and we can further and we can do the sorting for each block. In other words, we prepare for the blocks that are sorted in some orders. Uh, so this kind of process may continue with multiple rounds, right? According to the page, I mean this process will continue with B divided by M rounds. This B denotes the number of blocks available for the relation, right? This M denotes the memory size. In other words, we have to do this process with multiple times. And uh, for each time, we need to read M blocks into the memory, right, from the disk. And we can further write the result to the disk again. Uh, so this is step one, right? And based on step one, we have prepared for the blocks, right? For each block, we write back to the disk. They are sorted already, or according to step one. And for the next step, we can merge them together. When we do the merging, I mean, we can read the m minus one blocks at one time because we need to leave one block available for the output. As you in this page, we can merge m minus one block at one time and also write them to a disk. So as you here for this m minus one blocks, they are always sorted already, right? According to step one. In other words, what we are doing here is to merge this m minus one blocks together into the output buffer, and we can further write the buffer to the disk when it is full or it is filled up. And this m minus one did not in this reading buffers or reading blocks we read from the memory which are sorted already. So step two we are focused on the merging of this m minus one blocks uh, together. So this is an algorithm we can use with a two pass algorithm to process the sorting of a relation. We use the merge sorting state. For step one we do a sorting for each block and for step two we focus on merging of these uh, blocks together and also write the overall result to the buffer. All right, so this is for the two parts algorithm with emerging sorts. And we can also analyze its cost. So the cost will be generally about 3B, right? 3B of the relation. It's BR denoting the number of blocks for the relation R, right? Because here we have three here, because we have to read and write this block in the relation multiple times. So for step one, we have to read each block one time and also write one block at one time, right? For step one. It will be 2BR, right? The cost for step one. And through step two, we have to read the data to the memory, right? And then do the merge together. In other words, we have to do one read for the merging step at step two. The general cost will be about 3BR, as we can see here. And we also have some assumptions. I mean, we are still this BR will be no greater than M squared. This M denoting the number of blocks we can hold in the memory, right? The main reason is because if this BR is not than M squared, in other words, the cost for this assaulting will be about 3M squared, will be larger than 3M squared, right? Then this emerging sort will be very time consuming, and we need to ensure this relation size is no greater than the M squared of the memory size. This will be an assumption for the algorithm we are using here. And we can also use show you with the example to show you how we do the merging for step two. Let's assume we have an m minus one blocks reading into the memory buffer, and we have like a m minus one blocks as you in this page. So when we do the merging to uh, to get the result, normally we need to have one pointer for each block, right? Denoting the current uh, numbers we're working on, and we have for all these m minus one blocks, we have one pointer for them respectively. And then we can compare the numbers pointed by the pointers, right? 
and we're going to send the smallest number into the and put them into the output list instead. And uh, so uh, we, we will fill this output buffer one by one, right? Until it is freed up. If it is freed up, we can write these numbers back to the disk instead, and then we can do the further of the emergence for the rename for the remaining numbers. So this is a general uh, diagram for showing how we do the merge sort, and instead especially for the step two, right? So for this example, we also show with some concrete numbers. We can start based on example. This is saying we have one G memory, and the blocks have is about six four K, and then the number of blocks we can hold for the memory will be about M, right? M equals to the size of the memory. It is two raised to thirty divided by 64k, right? It will be 2 raised to 16, right? In other words, m will be equal to 16k. And we can hold 16k of these uh, blocks into the memory, right? And let's assume we have a relation which can fit into a b blocks and can be sorted if b is no greater than the m squared, the size, right? In other words, we have one constraint for b size b is no greater than m squared, it will be 2 raised to 28, right? And we also know that each block will be about 64k. In other words, the largest table we can use, we can start it for the sorting based on previous two pass algorithm will be about uh, 2 raised to 28 times, times 64k, right? It will be about 4 terabytes. If the uh, relation or the table size is less than 4 terabytes, then we can use this two pass algorithm we showed before and to solve the data inside the table and based on a machine with 1G memory. If, if we have a larger machine, I mean with larger memory, then we can stay, then we will be able to deal with larger tables, which will be larger than 4 terabytes, right? So even on a modest machine, this two pass multiple merge sort is also sufficient to sort all but an incredible larger relation into two parts. So this is a general number we can start in based on the algorithm and we can also analyze what kinds of relation can be started, can be dealt with with a two parts algorithm we showed before. Okay, so this is the algorithm we can use a two way of algorithms to deal with the sorting in a relation. And we can also analyze the numbers for you as well in this page. And you can go over this by yourself after class so you can understand the materials we're talking about here.